Hi everyone, this is Jan Wilczek from thewolfsound.com and today we're going to answer the question what is audio programming? Let's first define what audio is. I think of it as everything concerning sound. And on the other hand, programming is the art of writing software that is going to be ultimately running on a machine. So combined together, audio programming is the art of writing software that somehow deals with sound. What may be the purpose of such software? Well, one of them may be synthesis. It concerns sound synthesis in a musical sense, as well as speech synthesis, as in text-to-speech programs, in which you write some text and it plays you back in a human voice what you've just written. Audio programming also de deals with coding, so decoding and encoding audio files, such as the MP3 format that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Audio programming also deals with enhancement, speech enhancement in terms of for example, intelligibility, or sound enhancement or recording enhancement, and it may be in the form of the reverberation or removal of noise. Another key area of audio programming is data analysis. It may con con contain measuring health statistics from your telephone calls, but it may also deal with measurement of noise in the streets, uh, measurement systems, or maybe speaker separation uh, from a mixture recording. Another purpose of audio programming are sound effects. And with this, I mean sound effects that are used in a, by musicians. It may be in a form of a software that runs off a piece of hardware that is a small box that a musician uses on stage, but it also may mean uh, audio plugins that we use in digital audio workstations. Another area of audio programming is games. Nowadays, creating an immersive sound in games is so important that there are entire divisions of programmers that actually do it in uh, computer games studios. Another simulation um, is also considered a very, very important area of audio programming and it may concern simulating room acoustics, so how a room will sound. It may concern simulation of particular materials and uh, calculating their acoustic properties, but it may also sound with creating a realistic simulation for virtual reality, which is uh, becoming more and more popular. Another aspect that audio programming is involved with are drivers. Drivers are pieces of software that enable users to interact with hardware. It's a really difficult area of expertise because it demands high speed of processing, but also 100% uh, reli reliability because uh, a driver technically should always work under all conditions. And sometimes it also involves uh, cutting your code to really short pieces because the target machine cannot handle uh, really big programs. So it's a really difficult area, but also very rewarding. And the last purpose mentioned here is streaming. Music streaming and podcast streaming is becoming extremely popular nowadays on, with platforms like Spotify, iTunes or Tidal. So developing a specialized algorithm 
to deliver music to over the internet is a really interesting area of development. These are the purposes of audio programming listed by me, but there may be many others that I didn't think about. So if you think that I left something out, please write it in the comments below. But what does it take to do audio programming? Well, I think that in order to be able to code sound, to actually write software that deals with sound, I think that one should familiarize uh, themselves with seven pillars. The first one is obviously programming. And by programming, I mean a programming language like C or C++ or Python, but I also mean uh, software design and application architecture, which are really important concepts when it comes uh, to writing software. So we shouldn't forget that language is not the only aspect that we should be concerned with here. Another pillar of audio programming is digital signal processing. Digital signal processing is the, is the theoretical part that enables us to, uh, or actually it tells us what should be right in our code. Without digital signal processing, we, would, we wouldn't know which algorithms to choose. And actually we wouldn't be able to operate, operate on sounds, samples that are stored inside of the computer. So we may think about it as a theoretical side to audio programming. Another pillar of, of sound programming is acoustics. And by this, I mean acoustics as an area, uh, as a field of science that treats sound as a physical wave. Because with waves in physics comes a lot of useful theory that uh, enables us to understand how sound propagates in environment. And actually, every time that we play music or any other type of sound, or even now when I'm talking to you, uh, you are hearing an actual physical wave that is uh, reaching your ears, even if you're sitting with your, uh, ear, uh, with your uh, earbuds on, you also hear a physical wave, a me mechanical wave. So it's really important to understand how these waves interact and propagate in the environment. Another very important aspect that is often overlooked in audio programming is psychology and physiology of hearing. Human hearing is such a complicated process that uh, it's easy to overlook certain aspects. And actually it's so useful that a lot of algorithms uh, take advantage of the way we perceive sound and play mind tricks on us uh, without us ever realizing it. So it's really important to understand how we hear and how we receive any sound that comes to us. Another pillar of audio programming is music theory. One may argue that it's not necessary to know music theory for audio or sound programming, but I think that uh, delivering from ages of experience and uh, scientific examinations may give us an incredible overview of what actually is possible. And it will it can help us understand how different sounds interact with each other. Another pillar of audio programming is probability and stochastic processes. Uh, these two areas of mathematics are uh, the foundation for digital signal processing because every uh, part of signal processing assumes that the signal we look about we look at is actually a stochastic process so it's really helpful to understand what uh, lies uh, below the 
digital or analog signal processing area. And last but not least is mathematics. I know that uh, for some uh, it doesn't seem important, but I think that it's such an important and key area that uh, it really would be a shame not to take advantage of the tools that mathematics give us, gives us uh, to deal with particular problems. So I think that it's always worth to understand mathematics, especially mathematics concerned with sound. Okay, so we just answered the question, what is audio programming? I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're interested in sound programming and audio programming, then look for more videos on this channel. Subscribe, turn on the notification button and uh, leave a comment what would you like to hear because this channel is going to be mostly about audio processing and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the following videos. Take care.